Hey guys, I'm Doug Tarnovian and today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse from the Black Adam movie, Hawkman. I am very excited to take a look at this guy. Um, I thought he was awesome in the movie. Like, the movie itself was like not very good, right? Like the plot, but what made the movie great was the characters. Um, Black Adam was awesome, Hawkman was awesome, Dr. Feet was awesome. And then the other two heroes and the villain. The other two heroes were alright. The villain was, yeah, whatever. Uh, but regardless, uh, very nice figure here, and I'm very glad to have him. Uh, he does come with some accessories, so let's take a look at those first. He does come with the card. Oh, ah, I mean, I'm not, I like it better than just a picture of the figure. Uh, but not my favorite. I would rather see a scene from the movie, but that's just me. Anyways, there's the read-up. Want to read it? Pause it now. And then here is his uh, mace. Right? Mace? Anyways. Spiky mace. There you go. Looks great. I love how it looks. There. Got the handle and everything. I do wish he came with you know, the axe, too, but I'm glad we at least got this. Because um, it's more traditional Hawkman accessory you know anyways so yeah that's cool to see i didn't have anywhere to put it which i mean it's fine obviously i would pose him with it you know him holding it but anyways here's hawkman played by uh i forget his name something hodge right um very good actor i, I really enjoyed him in uh black adam and once upon or yeah one night one night in miami i was gonna say once upon a time in miami Completely different movie. If that even is a movie. Anyways, the head sculpt looks good. I think it does look like him under the mask there, so that's cool. Um, I like the wings around the helmet there. I don't zoom in a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, it looks good. Kind of has like the Doctor Fate look to it too, with the gold and everything. But still, looks nice. Uh, the wings obviously are the sh you know the the show stopper here, and the wings look great. Um, I do wish maybe they could span out a little bit more, um, you know, be a little bit articulated, maybe. But as is, it looks really good. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't have the wings out a lot in the movie, and I guess maybe that just saved money on CGI. Uh, but still, it would have been nice to have seen him use the wings more, even though he uses it plenty in the film. But the wings look good. Not particularly accurate, either, to be quite honest, but... For what it is, it looks great. I love seeing winged figures. Um, I wanted to pull out the Sky Tyrant figure, because that's supposed to be Hawkman's wings in the comics, but or on the cover of that comic. But I uh, didn't feel like taking them off the shelf. Uh, the rest of the figure is alright. I mean, it's just, you know, armor. And it does look accurate, so that's good. The red, you know, the maroon kind of color. The gold looks good. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, as long as it looks, you know, accurate, in my opinion, I think it's fine. But, uh, yeah. And then here's the back of the figure with the better look at the wings. There. Yeah, looks great. I love the wings. Um, articulation's alright. He doesn't stand very well. Um, it's just because his ankles and the wings and everything. Uh, you can't take the wings out, and they do rotate, too, but... Eh, I wouldn't mess around with it too much, to be quite honest. There is... Hawkman. There. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that. Um... So, obviously, I have two other figures. I don't... Ah! I want to get Adam Smasher, but I'm really... Uh, I don't feel like paying that much for him. Um... $30, even $30 doesn't seem worth it to me. Anyways, here's Black Adam and Dr. Fate next to Hawkman. And I think these guys look great together. Um, I really need to get a new shelf uh, for my uh, movie figures from McFarland because uh, I want to put these guys, like, you know, give them their own good section that's visible, you know. Anyways, uh, but yeah, they all look awesome. Black Adam definitely is the best figure out of the three. Um, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, anyways. And he should be, right? I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. And then, just 
because I can, here is Hawkman next to the DC Universe Classics Hawkman, which is one of my personal favorite figures uh, in the DC Universe Classics line. All of them are one of my favorites, to be quite honest. They're all great. But, yeah, um, you can definitely see the classic version to the movie version and how different they are. And it's so cool to see that. So, there you go. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, do all the good stuff. Sorry if, if it was a little bit lengthier, but I like talking about stuff. So, anyways, uh, make sure you do all the good stuff. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.